Throughout the tales of many cultures, there are various minor and obscure beings. Although the role they play is minor, they should be noted nonetheless. Today, I ask the question, what are Aspadas? Aspara are female spirit beings of cloud and water, ethereal creatures that generally inhabit the skies. Their presence is acknowledged in various Southeast Asian cultures, from India in Hinduism, to various forms of Buddhism, and even in Japan. They have been known to be the handmaidens or dancers in the heavenly court of Lord Indra, as well as his agents when he sends them on task to thwart those who would ascend to be higher than the gods. The Aspara are well known for their dancing abilities. They usually wear light and floating celestial garments adorned with scarves and jewelry. Known for being quite charming, extremely beautiful, and highly seductive. They possess talents in music as well and have been associated with fertility rites in certain places. Aspar are even said to be shapeshifters and watch over the realms of gaming and gambling. One of the Asparas, named Tilot Tama, is well known for her role in saving the world from two Asura. What are Asura? For all intents and purposes, and to be honest, somewhat inaccurate, the Asura are demons. These two specifically, that grew considerably powerful and caused quite a lot of trouble. Sunda and Upasunda, born of the Asura named Nikomba, were a pair of inseparable brothers. They shared everything together. Their food, their home, their chairs, their bed, and even their kingdom. The brothers grew to be very powerful and were always of one mind. Together, they set out on a war campaign of world domination. At first, they did not set out with large armies, but the two of them went together to the Vindhya mountain, and there they practiced a severe lifestyle of deprivation from sensual pleasures, and in doing so, attracted the attention and concern of the devas in heaven. The two brothers, with all their deprivation from sensual pleasures, began to gather, collect, and generate a large amount of heat up there on those mountaintops. The devas made attempts to distract the Asura brothers in their endeavors with various enticements and illusions, but failed time and time again. The two raised so much concern that Lord Brahma appeared before them to grant them a boon so that they would stop what it was that they were doing. Now, a boon is a wish, and the two brothers knew exactly what they were going to wish for. Lord Brahma granted the two brothers the power of invulnerability to where they could be killed by the hand of no one except each other. Descending from the mountain and returning home, now Sunda and Upasunda raised themselves an army to begin the meat of their campaign. They proceeded to conquer and devastate the three worlds and brought great wealth and prosperity to their own clan. The brothers wreaked havoc everywhere harassed the sages to no end, and even drove the devas themselves from their heavenly abode to claim it as their own, leaving the devas to take refuge with Lord Brahma. Once again, being moved to action, Lord Brahma worked on behalf of the devas. He could not at this point defeat the two asura with force, so he and the devas resorted to trickery. Lord Brahma ordered a divine architect by the name of Vishyakarma to create a beautiful Aspara. The architect took all that was beautiful from each of the three worlds and began to put the woman together piece by piece. Lord Brahma named her Tilotama and ordered her to seduce the demon brothers to the extent that she would become an issue of contention between the two. Tilotama found the brothers with their retinue of men out dancing, drinking, and feasting in honor of their many victories. She appeared before them plucking flowers, beholding the extraordinary Tilotama and bewitched by her voluptuous figure, not to mention being drunk on liquor and power. The two brothers immediately fell to fighting over her. 
Sunda and Upasunda each took her left and right hand, declaring that Tilotama should be his own wife. Henceforth, the two brothers both grabbed their clubs and fought until they had killed one another. The Devas congratulated Tilotama, and Lord Brahma even granted her a boon, allowing her the liberty to roam freely in the universe. Although, Lord Brahma also decreed that no one was allowed to look upon her due to her extreme luster. Both youthful and elegant, these supernatural beings are sometimes compared to the muses of ancient Greece or the Valkyries of Norse mythology. The word aspara, when translated into English, can mean anything from nymph, fairy, or even celestial maiden. Although the Aspadas are not deities that have received much direct worship, their roles in the tales of old must not be forgotten.